This week on Competition Ready, Mike and his team are helping out an old friend, Drew Alcazar, getting an 84 Porsche Turbo ready for the Russo and Steel Collector Auction. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona with just a handful of hours to get this iconic sports car show-worthy before it rolls across the block. So get ready because the work is about to begin. When the world's top builders need a show-stopping finish, they call Bob McKee and his team of expert detailers to prepare their custom creations for some of the most prestigious automotive events in the industry. Join me and detail pro Mike Phillips as we team up with the country's best surface technicians to polish these incredible cars to perfection at that critical final moment before the doors open and the crowds begin to arrive. From the shop to the show, we're there to make these rides just shine. competition ready. Mike and his team racing the clock to complete the final polish. It's a mad dash to the finish line to get this car ready before it rolls onto the auction block in just a matter of hours. This is intense, and the setting, well, less than ideal, but we knew what we were getting into when Bob got the call. Hello, this is Bob. Howdy, Bob. Hey, Drew Alcassar calling from Russo and Steel Auctions out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. What can I do for you, Drew? I've got a client that's got this uh, great little 84 uh, Porsche 930 Turbo. And he's had the thing stored for a little while. It's kind of got a shed out behind his house and whatnot. There's no way I can give him a hand, but I was hoping you could uh, throw down with uh, some of your talented guys. Where do you want us to do this work for you? Is it going to be in the shop? Is it going to be at the auction? Well, boy, as it stands, we're going to be transporting the car directly to the auction site, Bob. So, uh... You know, I'm going to need to carve out a little piece of real estate there so that uh, your team can have plenty of room to work and whatnot. What's the time frame to, for us to be there? I need it ready to stage up about 6. So, boy, if you guys can get there in the morning on Saturday, we're talking maybe a 6 or 8 hour kind of a window for you guys to work your magic on this pub. Well, that, that's a pretty tall order, Drew. Can you send me some pictures or, or uh, something uh, about the car so I can show my guys? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, we've got this 84 Porsche, black with a custom champagne interior. It came special order from the factory. That's dynamite. I mean, you're already in the money with a situation like that because that combination is just so stunning. Consider this one uh, under control, okay, Drew? Outstanding, outstanding. I knew I could count on you. Thanks so much, Bob. We'll have everything prepared for your arrival. Looking forward to having your team here. All right, be well, Drew. Take care. Bye now. This is a small car, but keep in mind, it's essentially a barn find and hasn't been touched in who knows how long? Hopefully, we won't have any nasty surprises waiting for us under all that dust. How you doing, guys? Good, good. Doing great. Good. Hey, listen, I have a friend that has a barn find, and they really need our help. Why don't you meet me in the uh, motor coach, and we'll see if we can tackle this. Let's do right. it. Sounds good. Barn finds. You guys comfortable? Oh, yeah. Well, That's I think it. we have a challenge here. It's a 1984 Porsche 911 Turbo Coupe. I have some pictures here. Yeah, that's a barn and that's the car in there. <laughs> I love a barn find as much as the next guy. But the scary thing is, you never know what you're getting yourself into. This is a transitional period for these cars. Uh, this could be single stage, could be base coat clear coat. We won't know till we get there. You know, the rubber bumpers, that's when they went to the US regulated bumpers. Mm -hmm. We got to get all those uh, the cracks and crevices to really clean that out and recondition it. That'll be a challenge getting it to look good again. You know, also all the trim there and there. We're on the windows, it's dry rotting too. Yep. This car has been untouched for years, and honestly, it's kind of scary. The wheels, Mike, what do you think? Those are the honeycomb style wheels. Those are actually really hard to detail. It's gonna take some work to get those nice. And the interior and looks in pretty good shape, don't you think, Brett? Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. It'll be minimal. I think Nick and Brett, we really need to bring everything we can and expect that everything is gonna be a handful here. Yeah, this will be a challenge, you know? It's black paint, black's the hardest to make look perfect. Even though this is a small car, it's a Porsche. This is not a small job. We're gonna have a lot of work to do this car to get it right for the auction. You guys gotta help me get fully loaded for this project. Then once I get there, I'm gonna need a top-notch right. team of guys. If this is gonna be a, a labor of love. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, well, if you're ready, let's get going and load up the van. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. At this point, all we have to do is get loaded and then get on the road and hope for the best. This is gonna be a long haul for Mike. Florida to Arizona. 
Needless to say, he'll have plenty of time to think about how he plans to attack this iconic ride. Mike's got no leeway on this one. Once the team arrives, we've got to unload and get to work. The pressure is on. This episode of Competition Ready is brought to you by Sonax, premium car care products since 1950. And Flex Tools, car polishers made by professionals for professionals. Nobody has ever been sorry they bought the best. Flex polishers are German engineers specifically for polishing paint. The Flex 3401 is the only gear-driven orbital polisher on the market. It's both safe and powerful. The Flex XFE7 is a free-spinning orbital polisher for easy and safe machine polishing with swirl-free results. The Flex PE14 has all the power of a full-size rotary buffer in a compact, lightweight size. Flex polishers made by professionals for professionals. Nobody has ever been sorry they bought the best. We've made it, and the cars here at the Russo & Steel Auction in Scottsdale, Arizona are really something to behold. Russo & Steel, they're known for the best of the best, incredibly high caliber cars. So when we come here to work on a car, we've got to do our best. Hey, AJ. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ready to check out the project car? I am. I'm excited. Let's go find Drew. OK. Hey, Mike, hey. AJ, how you guys doing? Hey, how's it going? Good, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Yes, indeed. Hey, I sure am looking forward to your magic coming around on this. Boat. She yeah. needs some love. Yeah, she's looking pretty rough. Well, I'm curious to see what's under all this dust. <laughs> you know, it, you never can tell. The paint's got some swirls. We've actually got some old polish and wax residue and a lot of the nooks and crannies and the gaskets we got to dig out. The other thing that makes these uh, complicated is the fresh air intake grill back here. You got a thin panel of paint. Of course, you got the rubber well tail. Uh, being as old as it is, sometimes it can be kind of tricky to bring that dark, natural sheen back so it'll match the paint after we're done polishing it. Well, it's kind of part of the 80s cars. They didn't put a lot of chrome and bric-a-brac on them, so that sort of black on black, all the matte finishes that are around the glass, that's a lot of the trick on getting these looking top shelf. The wheels, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies just yeah, alone. something about those BBS lace wheels. That's kind of what the 80s were all about. I think it's part of the iconic sort of aura of this car, is, but that's a ton of work. Look at all those little fasteners that go around the outside, and yeah. every little nook and cranny. But when they're looking great, Perfection. it's like it's out of a time capsule. So Drew, what makes this car so special? Well, it's a 930 turbo, so this is an iconic car. But I think the thing that makes this particular car special, one, is that it's a special order car with the champagne interior. When you open those doors, that interior just explodes. But this particular car also has documentation from the factory. So we have the Porsche certificate showing that it was actually delivered brand new, black with the special order interior. Oh, wow. Well, we got a great team assembled, and I'm confident they're going to take this diamond in the rough and turn it into a glistening gemstone. You know, we've only got about four hours before this car's getting ready to stage up. Yeah? Well, I figured I'd throw down a challenge, <laughs> right? You guys had the talent. Wow. That's what Competition Ready's all about. Okay. Listen, hey, thanks so much for being with us. I know you guys have the talent. Okay. We'll see you on the auction block okay, in there. Okay. Thanks, you guys. We won't let you down. We need four hours just for the wheels alone. It's just the wheels and the tires. Well, we better get to work then. All right, let's get the team in here. Let's do it. No question, Mike's one of the best in the business. He's got the talent, and he's got the intrinsic understanding to really, really look into something and see the full, complete package. And that's what we really need here. This is going to be a tough one. We've only got four hours to take this barn fine Porsche over the top and create that show car look. But I'm confident my team can do it. Hey guys, okay. how's it going? Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Okay. How are you? Good. Good hey, to see you. Hey, hey, how are you? Mark. Hi, I'm AJ. Matt, good to see you, to see you again. Hi. Well, this is it. Take a look. Nice. This is fresh out of the barn. We don't know what condition the paint's in until we get the dust off. Just to let you know, we have to do this all in four hours, get it across the block, and hopefully get top dollar for this car. So no pressure. That's good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get busy. Come on. Time to unpack and get to work. All right, what's our first step? This thing is covered with dust. We have no access to water, so we're going to use a Sonax spray detailer. The trick to getting the dirt off without scratching the paint is use it heavy or wet. That means spray down a lot. Then we got to get all this rubber trim, all these raised body lines taped off, and then I'm going to divide you into groups. We're going to tackle this car and get it done. Take 
Scraping off the rubber trim and gaskets is time consuming, but definitely a crucial step. Because when we start machine polishing, we could do the same kind of damage the guy before us did, and that's fill all these little nooks and crannies with splatter. It takes away from the beauty of the car. But the good news is we have some really nice, small little foam pads from Lake Country that'll get right into these little thin areas so we won't buff on the tape, we'll just stay right on the paint. And saves time. Saves time, saves the paint. Any last minute project is a challenge, but try doing it in a few hours before the car rolls across the block at one of the most prestigious auctions in the country. Not to worry, we're up for it. One of the biggest ways to make an impression with your car is to have clean wheels. It can also be one of the hardest areas to detail. Sonex Car Care products have a quick and easy way to get your wheels looking great. Start with Sonex Wheel Cleaner Plus. We spray this on your wheels and let the product do the work. The liquid will change to a red color, loosening even the toughest brake dust. Rinse and dry wheels, then use rim sealant to keep your wheels cleaner longer. Sonex offers an entire line of car care products for both do-it-yourselfers and professionals. Be sure to check them out. Scottsdale, Arizona at the Russo and Steel Collector Car Auction. Beautiful job. Good job. And right now, Mike and the team are prepping an 84 Porsche Turbo to be detailed before it goes up for auction in just a matter of hours. And it's almost time to start buffing. But first... You know, one thing you want to do when you're working on a classic like this that's actually worth a lot of money is measure the paint thickness. This will give you an indicator of just how much paint is on the car. and. In our case, we don't know who worked on this car before us. Okay. So they may have used what I like to call caveman compounds and needlessly taken a lot of paint off. And uh, what we're gonna do is use the least aggressive approach. So everything we're gonna be doing is gonna be really safe and actually gentle to the paint. Okay, so the numbers that we're seeing now, does that mean it's thin? I would call this paint actually relatively thin. So okay. the guys really gotta be careful. What this does is it measures mils or okay. microns. I have it set up to measure mils. And as you can see right there, that's 4.4 mils. As a reference point, a dollar bill or a post-it note is okay. about three mils. So okay. if you hold those between your finger and see how thin they are, okay. this is just a little bit thicker than a post-it note or a dollar bill. Wow. And that's not very much to work with. Okay, so what's the average thickness for a car? For a brand new car that nobody's ever worked on, you're going to get between six and eight mils on average. And that's okay. that's a good safety margin. You got yeah. some paint there to work with. When we're getting down to four mils, I had one measurement that oh, was in the three, three mils. Yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of paint left to work here, so we got to be okay. very careful. Okay. This is a Russo and Steel car. And at this auction, they expect nothing less than perfection. Bruce Wayne Steel is that great intermediate ground for the broad range of audience. People that are wanting to do European sports cars, American muscle cars, hot rods and customs. Since its launch in 2001, Drew has had a very clear idea of what they want to deliver to their clients. A unique, personal and visceral experience like nothing else in the auction world. Certainly our auction in the round format is unique only to Russo and Steel. That 360 degree gladiator sport that we do there on the auction block. But Russo and Steel really is about the cars. We have a spectacular event, don't get me wrong, but it's not about all of that. The focus is always going to be on the cars and on the auction block. Russo and Steel is an auction for enthusiasts by enthusiasts. The experience here is simply unmatched. Okay guys, now that we got this thing completely wiped down and taped off, we're ready to attack it. Now the paint on this is actually really thin, so we're going to go non-aggressive foamed wool pads from Lake Country because they're gentle, yet they'll remove the swirls and scratches. They're going to follow that with foam pads. We're going to use these with the Flex 3401. Now that's a dual action orbital polisher. I'm gonna use you, Mark, to do the wheels and tires. You're gonna to have to get down there and use your fingers, probably microfiber gloves, and just get into the spokes and the lace design wheels. Matt, I'm gonna need you to help me out with the engine compartment, any of the wheel polishing. Double up with Mark here to get those areas done. Rob, you're gonna be my interior guy. Now this has the champagne leather option. It goes great with a completely blacked out exterior, but we need to get this thing looking crisp and clean. So I want you to clean the leather really well, then come back and condition it and protect it. And then when we're done, we're gonna detape it. We're gonna put a carnauba wax on this to really bring out that deep wet shine that everybody loves. So AJ, what's our time frame? Okay, we're down to three hours now. Everybody work together, let's get it done. Let's go. Okay. Small car, big 
job. So you know when I'm buffing, I'm seeing a lot of black come up here. And so it looks like it's black paint, but this is a clear-coated car. So actually what this is is impacted dirt. And over the years, the dirt has actually kind of bonded to the paint. And that means that the paint's a little bit harder. So it's pretty safe to work on. It's not like an old-fashioned single-stage paint job. Sonax Perfect Finish, so it has good cutting, but it finishes out like a polish. So I've laid a little strip here in this thin little panel, again right here, and I've switched over to a one inch pad on my Flex PE14. That way I can just do what I call surgical buffing. Stay right on the paint without getting on an edge, pull out the swirls and the scratches, create that high gloss shine, prepare for the next step, which will be polishing with an even less aggressive product and a softer pad than this four inch foam cutting pad. We're down to the final hour before the Porsche needs to make its way across the block, but there is still a ton of work left to do. We got this. Whether you're a novice or professional, AutoGeek can cover all your car care needs. We carry all the brands you know and trust, plus tips and techniques, and how-to articles and videos on our friendly discussion forum. AutoGeek is your car care authority. They helped us in our shop. They can help you in your garage. For more information, visit AutoGeek.com. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona for the Russo & Steel Collector Automobile Auction, a car event like no other. Drew Alcazar is known throughout the industry for presenting high-end cars at the Russo and Steel Collector Auction. And the caliber of these cars is second to none. And when a car goes across the block, it's got to look its best. Presentation is key to getting the highest bid. All right, Mike, so we just finished working on the car with the more abrasive pad. So are the softer pads next? Yeah, so we finished the correction step. Next is the polishing step. So we're gonna switch over to soft foam pads and the Sonax Nano Polish. So finishing pad plus a fine cut polish, it'll perfectly prepare the paint for wax. Now I noticed this pad is different than other pads I've seen. Yes, yeah, this is the Lake Country pad, a CCS pad. It stands for Collapsed Cell Structure. Okay. And uh, you see these little pockets here? Yeah. So what these do is they kind of trap some of the polish inside of them, and then as the guys are moving this over the surface, it releases the polish for a uniform, high gloss polished look. It also makes it easier on you. Rob, interior looks great. I see you're putting the finishing touches. Keep going, just let me know when you're done. Mark, Matt, wheels and tires, right on. They look like jewelry now. So we're gonna switch over to the polishing pads. I wanna bring this paint up to a super high gloss finish. And then after we're done, we're gonna pull the tape off and get ready to hand wax it. You guys ready to go? How are we doing on time? Well, since I'm officially the clock police, not much time, so we gotta get moving. Remember, this is getting out of the nitty gritty. No mistakes. One more thing, before we get started, since we took our lunch break, a little bit of dust is piled up on the uh, finish because look, we're outside. So before we start machine polishing, let's go ahead and give it a quick wipe down, then start the polishing, okay? Great, where are we at with everything? We're down to the very last step. We're gonna hand apply a Carnuba wax, take it off, she's ready to go across the blocks. So we're in the home stretch. Yep, we're almost done. So I'm gonna take some wax and pass it down. And I, for one, am already loving this car. Hopefully, once it goes across the block, the buyers will fall in love too. We did all the hard parts, now we can have a little fun. Taking the wax off. 
There's a very specific technique I want to show you. Microfiber, by its very nature, is grabby. And after we polished all this, we don't want to rub anything abrasive into the paint. That would put scratches back in. So take and place your tail out flat, look at it with your eyes, then take your hand and run your hand across it. Sometimes your hand will feel something sharp or abrasive that got lodged in the towel that your eyes can't see. And then once your towel passes the field test, then fold it four ways and then just carefully start wiping that wax off. As I like to say, just kind of start loving on the car. I think it's time to back away from the car, guys. We're done. This thing looks perfect. Awesome job, guys. We literally finished with minutes to spare. Give yourselves a round of applause. You really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. See how well this paint, the thin panel with the All right, guys, panel. we are down to the wire. Time to be on the block. Got to make the money. OK, yeah. well, it's done. Look at that. <laughs> wow, you guys, that's spectacular. What an amazing amount of talent. Porsches are on a tear right now in the marketplace. They're fun to drive. They're easy to maintain. They're engineering marvels. And we're ready to go. I'm minutes away. I'm going to get on the auction block. We'll see you there, OK? All right. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay. It's going to look spectacular on the auction block. I got to tell you, the products, the talent, everything that went into this in that short a period of time, unbelievable result. Well, they did it. The guys accomplished the impossible. They took a barn find and turned it into auction gold. Great job, guys. This little Porsche was definitely a challenge, but now it's a transformed car. Just leave it to Mike and the guys to make it look better than it did when it rolled off the showroom floor back in 84. Now all it's got to do is head across the block and make some lucky buyer very, very happy. The time was short and the pressure was on, but without a doubt, this Porsche is competition ready.